ninth commerce subject is here and last day we have started class ninth second chapter sole proprietorship and joint in the family business kal to humne jo padha tha sole proprietorship ki meaning thi aur features thi today we have discuss about the merits as well as the merits merits as well as the demerits now listen carefully merits of the sole proprietorship and the demerits of the sole proprietorship already you have clear your meaning and features of the sole proprietorship agar nahi dekha to pichli last video zarur dekhe tab ye jaake topic aapko samajh mein aayega the most important topic of your second chapter merits as well as the demerits of the sole proprietorship first of all you have to understand features already features was completed in last lecture so first one is the easy to start and resolve How can we say that it is easy to start dissolving so that khatam karna wind up wind up it is easy to start and easy to start and easy to dissolve matlab ye start karna bhi easy hota hai aur khatam karna bhi easy hota hai how can we say that it is it is easy to start and easy to dissolve so first of all student because we know very well in case of sole proprietorship no legal formality required legal formality ki zarurat nahi padti no registration is compulsory and we know that if no registration is there it will be less time taken as well as the less expensive so that's why student we can say that it's easy to start and easy to dissolve means apne mann se start kar sakte hain aur apne mann se isko kya kar sakte hain band kar sakte hain next one motivation to work in case of the sole proprietorship We are motivating by work. No outside of India. हम जानते हैं कि हम ज़्यादा मेहनत करेंगे, we have to earn more and more profit. और हम काम नहीं करेंगे, we have to bear the loss. तो वो चीज़ जो हमको motivate करती है, वो चीज़ होती है हमारा खुद का काज. Such a thing which are motivated in the sole proprietorship is the work. So that's why in case of the sole proprietorship, we have motivation to work. Next one. Quick decision. In case of the sole proprietorship, which type of decision we have? Quick decision. So, in the case of the sole proprietorship, which type of decision we have? We have a quick decision because, friend, in case of the sole proprietorship, it is a one-man control. किसी और पर्सन से हमको पूछने की जरूरत ही नहीं होती. So, in case of the sole proprietorship, it is a one-man control. That's why we have a quick type of decision. Quick decision. We have a flexibility. जो काम होता है जल्दी होता है. Next one is the in case of the sole proprietorship, it is an independent management. Independent control. No outsider having authority to interfere in the business. No outsider having authority to interfere in the business. That's why, student, we can say that in case of a sole proprietorship, we having independent control. This type of control we having independent control because only one owner we have. Last day we have discussed that the other name of the sole proprietorship is the one man show. Next is the secrecy of affairs. Everything are mostly secret because जो चीज भी business में होता है वो चीज केवल एक ही person जानता है किसी outsider को पता नहीं होता है कि business के अंदर क्या चल रहा है business profit earn कर रही है या loss bear कर रही है so that's why friend we can say that in case of the sole proprietorship we having secrecy of affairs next feature of the next merit of the sole proprietorship is what personal touch in case of the sole proprietorship sole proprietor having personal touch with the employees as well as the customer सोल प्रोपराइटर अपने कस्टमर को भी अच्छे से जानता है और अपने इंप्लॉइज को भी काफी अच्छे से जानता है अपने कॉम्प्यूटर्स को भी अपने काफी अच्छे से जानता है कि उनके पेस्ट उनके प्रेफरेंस उनकी परचेजिंग पावर क्या है सो दैट्स वी कैन से दैट इन केस ऑफ द सोल प्रोपराइटर सिम वी हैव अ पर्सनल टच नेक्स्ट वन इज व्हाट वी हैव अ इनएक्सपेंसिव मैनेजमेंट इन केस ऑफ द सोल प्रोपराइटर सिम व्हिच टाइप ऑफ मैनेजमेंट वी हैव वी हैव इन इनएक्सपेंसिव मैनेजमेंट मतलब कम खर्चीला मैनेजमेंट होता है सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप का बिकॉज नो नीड टू पे सैलरी नो प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग इसमें नहीं होती है प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग नहीं होती इसमें इसलिए हम कह सकते हैं कि ये जो आपका जो मैनेजमेंट होता है वो होता है इनएक्सपेंसिव मींस कम खर्चीला नेक्स्ट वन इज द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ऑफ ऑपरेशन इन केस ऑफ अ सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप व्हिच टाइप ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी व्हिच टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेशन वी हैव इट इज अ फ्लेक्सिबल लचीला होता है बिल्कुल It can be changed according situation. If we want to change it, we can change it easily because no legal formality is required. So we can say that we have flexibility of operation. And last one is the some social benefit of the sole proprietorship. First of all, it provides employment. So what is the social benefit of the sole proprietorship? It provides employment. It beneficial for such a person who do not work under someone else. 
जो किसी के अंदर काम नहीं करना चाहते हैं उनके लिए सबसे बेस्ट सेक्टर होता है आपका सोल प्रोपरेटर से सो स्टूडेंट्स विद वन क्लास वी हैव टू नाउ अगेन इट इज इजी टू स्टार्ट एंड इजी टू डिजोल्व बिकॉज नो लीगल फॉर्मेट इज रिक्वायर्ड मोटिवेटेड बाई द वर्क उसको खुद को पता होता है कि वो ज्यादा काम करेगा तो उसको बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉफिट मिलेगा इसलिए खुद के वर्क से काफी मोटिवेटेड होता है नेक्स्ट वन इज डिसीजन बिकॉज इट इज कंट्रोल बाई ए सिंगल पर्सन इंडिपेंडेंट कंट्रोल बिकॉज नो आउटसाइडर है बिजनेस Secrecy of affair because what thing is going on it is just known by a single person that you can say that we have a secrecy of affair. Next one personal touch. Sole proprietor know his uh, employees as well as the customer. Next one it is the expensive management because no need to pay salary and wages to others. No profit sharing is there. Next one is the flexibility of operation because friend in case of a sole proprietorship no legal formality is required no outsider we having so this type of business it is a flexible business and last one is the it having some social benefit first and most important it is provide employment and it's the best sector for them who do not work under someone else so friends already we have completed merits the next topic we having demerits of a sole proprietorship merits already hum khatam kar chuke hain फीचर्स खत्म कर चुके हैं सोल प्रोपरेटर्स की मीनिंग खत्म कर चुके हैं लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने खत्म किया था मीनिंग और फीचर्स और आज का जो टॉपिक था वो था मेरिट्स एज वेल एज डीमेरिट्स मेरिट्स ऑलरेडी हमने खत्म कर चुका है अब फोकस करते हैं डीमेरिट्स ऑफ द सोल प्रॉपर्टीज हर फैक्टर में कुछ डिमेरिट्स होती है और कुछ मेरिट्स होता है तो पहला जो डिमेरिट है वो है आपका लिमिटेड कैपिटल इन केस ऑफ सोल प्रोपरेटर से The first demerit we have, what a limited capital, what a money we have invested by the proprietor, money invested by the proprietor or owner known as a capital. So, जो इसमें पैसा invest होता है, वो हमेशा क्या होता है? Limited होता है. क्यों? Because it is only controlled by a single person. Money invested only by a one man. So, students, that's why we can say that in case of a sole proprietorship. We have to face this type of capital, limited capital. I hope it's just clear. First demerit of the sole proprietorship is what limited capital means. जो भी पैसा होगा वो हमारे पास इस सेक्टर में limited होता है because we have not several person, we have not very step of the members. We having only one person is there, so that's why what the money we have it is limited. Second demerit of the sole proprietorship is what. लिमिटेड मैनेजर स्किल सेकेंड मेन इज वॉट लिमिटेड मैनेजर स्किल इन केस ऑफ अ सोल प्रोपरेटर सिर्फ विस टाइप ऑफ स्किल वी हैव वी हैविंग लिमिटेड स्किल वी हैविंग लिमिटेड मैनेजर स्किल क्योंकि हमें पता है कि वन पर्सन इज नॉट परफेक्ट इन ऑल सेक्टर एक ही पर्सन हर सेक्टर में बेस्ट नहीं हो सकता वो किसी एक सेक्टर में बेटर है तो दूसरे सेक्टर में हो सकता है वो उतना अच्छा ना हो So that's a friend. One person who have been controlled each and everything, investment, purchasing of thing, controlling of management, selling of goods and all, persuading to the customer. वो हर सेक्टर में बेस्ट नहीं हो सकता. So that's why what a managerial skill we have, it will be also limited like a capital because it is just controlled by a single person and one single person is not perfect in all. एक पर्सन हर सेक्टर में परफेक्ट नहीं हो सकता That's why we can say that we having limited manager skill. Third one is what unlimited liability. Last day we have discussed about in future also sole proprietor having unlimited liability, unlimited responsibility. Already you know very well why we having why we having unlimited liability and unlimited responsibility because everything controlled by a single person. Everything controlled by a single person. Investment of money. Just purchasing of raw material, production of goods, selling of goods, persuading to the customer, manage the account, everything controlled by a single person, friend. That's why we can say that, just के पास liability होती है, just के पास responsibility होती है, वो कैसी type of responsibility होती है, वो होती है unlimited. Next one is the lack of continuity. In case of the sole proprietor, the main demerits of the sole proprietor, if you can say that, because the life of the sole proprietor is uncertain. It just depends upon only one person. If something will be happen with the sole proprietor, अगर sole proprietor सब कुछ भी हो गया, suppose that वो उसको वो बीमार हो गया, he met with an, an accident. अगर कुछ भी उसके साथ बुरा हुआ, तो उसका direct impact जो पड़ता है वो business में पड़ जाता है. अगर मान लीजिए कि sole proprietor business चलाता हुआ मर गया, तो एक तरह से business भी क्या हो गया? 
मर गया इफ सोल प्रोपरेटर विल बी इन्फ्लुएंस बिजनेस विल बी आल्सो इन्फ्लुएंस सो दैट्स व्हेन वी कैन से दैट इन केस ऑफ अ सोल प्रोपरेटरशिप वी हैव अ लैक ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी वी कैन नॉट कंटिन्यू आवर बिजनेस विद अदर पर्सन मींस इन केस ऑफ अ सोल प्रोपरेटरशिप वी हैव ऑलवेज फियर ऑफ द लैक ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी बिकॉज़ लाइफ एंड फ्यूचर ऑफ द सोल प्रोपरेटरशिप बिजनेस डिपेंड अपॉन अ सिंगल पर्सन एंड लास्ट वन वी हैव लिमिटेड स्कोप फॉर एक्सपेंशन we have due to the two reason limited capital and limited managerial skill due to the two reason limited capital and limited managerial skill we have a last one means you can see that limited scope of the expand limited scope for the growth have just influence of the two they very one is the limited capital and second one is the limited managerial skill due to the limited capital कम पैसे होने की वजह से लिमिटेड कैपेसिटी होने की वजह से हम अपने बिजनेस को एक प्लेस से दूसरे प्लेस से बहुत ज्यादा हम ग्रोथ नहीं कर सकते बहुत ज्यादा एक्सपेंड नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज इट इज कंट्रोल बाय अ सिंगल पर्सन एंड सिंगल पर्सन इज नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल एवरीवेयर सो दैट से वी कैन से दैट वी कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन आवर वी कैन नॉट एक्सपेंड आवर द बिजनेस स्कोप सो दिस टाइप ऑफ स्कोप वी हैव इन we having limited scope due to the two reason you can say that due to the limited capital and due to the limited managerial skill we having result limited scope for expansion so friends today we have discussed about made some of sole proprietorship made some of sole proprietorship already we have discussed easy to start easy to dissolve we having quick decision we having independent management it is a social benefit the merits already we have discussed limited capital limited managerial skill unlimited liability lack of continuity and limited scope for growth so i hope you understand this topic thank you very much